Okay, guys. Um, and we're gonna go over uh, boost control. Um, what we're gonna do? Uh, for, for first things first. Let me go ahead and uh, um, I'm gonna start with all these at zero, 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 zero. Make sure all of these are are zeroed out. Okay. Um, zero everywhere here. Um, you're 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 targeting zero across on your vehicle speed. You're not doing any um, boost air duty e either way. Um, then go over here to your advanced boost. Again, make sure all of these are zeroed. Okay, all the stuff is zeroed. Now, again, this is one of those things where if you watch the previous videos, um, we're going to go back in here into the setup wizard, and this is another one of those things that I said we'd come back to later. Before you do any of this, go up here to boost uh, the feedback boost control and select max boost pulse width solenoid closed okay select that match it apply close okay um, you'll notice that it changed it to 10 percent okay and we're um, not not going to be using this but just to keep things simple um, what we're going to be doing here is you guys remember how we built this fuel graph and um, underlaying this this fuel graph it kind of like sits on top of it it cuts right through the middle of it so it goes below it and above it is this boost compensation graph right we're doing the same thing here with a little bit of a twist okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set the whole boosted section of the map to 50 okay so all up here is 50 and then what we're going to do is let's assume that your base spring pressure is at 10 psi. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to this table, and I blew it up for you guys, and we're gonna set it at negative 50. Okay, now what have we done here? What does this mean? Well, in this graph, we've started at 50, so what you're telling the ECU is at um, basically any RPM, any RPM, as soon as we hit positive pressure this value right here okay we're going to have 50 percent duty cycle all the time all the time it, it, it doesn't matter we're, we're using 50 percent uh, 50 percent duty cycle to achieve each one of these now that's not really what we're doing what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to this boost compensation table which works the same way as the boost fuel correct table okay so if our base is 10 um, you'll set it here now if your base was let's say uh, 13 or, or 14 pounds then um, you you can have negative uh, 50 here too okay so you have an initial 50 okay um, you're targeting 13 either 10 or 13 pounds you have an initial 50 and over here you're pulling 50 so the 50 that you started with you're pulling it right back out so you're not doing any work okay your, your, your Mac valve is not doing any work and then you'll, you'll start seeing increases of um, uh, boost levels normally when you start nearing about 20 percent um, when you start wanting to raise it a couple pounds or so so let's say that our base pressure and just just to keep things um, nice and simple here we'll, we'll leave it like this um, so let's say it, uh, to reach 16 pounds, your boost target is 16 pounds. Okay. Um, we're going to set this value right here to negative uh, 30. Now, here, we're targeting 16 PSI. Up here, we got negative 30. So we have 50 minus 30 is 20. Okay. It's, what we've done is the same thing as doing this. What are we targeting? 16. So we'll do this. Yeah. Well, now you. There. We've done the same thing. Okay. At s we're targeting 17 psi at all RPM values. Um, we're we're outputting. 20 psi, or I'm sorry, we're outputting 20% duty cycle to our MAC valve to increase boost. Okay, um, so if this were at zero, 
you know, if we move this back up here to zero, we could do this and it would be the same thing. This, once you understand the concept of setting all of this to 50, okay, then it, it's actually an easier way to think about it. It's very simple math, okay? Um, so we're, we're targeting 16. Uh, this is 30. Let's just start throwing in numbers here. Uh, we're targeting 19. We'll set this value at negative 15. Okay, I'm just throwing values in. So we have our initial 50 minus 15 gives us 35. So when we're wanting to make 19 pounds of boost, we're allowing the MAC valve to do 35%. 50 minus 15 gives us 35. Okay? <coughs> and just to keep things nice and smooth here, what we're going to do is set this value to, let's just do 30, okay? And then we're going to interpolate all this, make it nice and linear, okay? So now, uh, th these are just base values, okay? And go ahead and do this before you start targeting values, okay? The reason why is because if you try and do it this way, if, if you try and say, okay, I'm going to target, I know my base is 13, I'm going to target 16 pounds. If you just take this whole side of the map over here and you set it to the same value, okay, um, or whatever value, whatever value it was, um, you'll actually end up doing more work. Reason why is because when if, if you end up targeting... Uh, a lot of times people target even, very even numbers of boost. So let's say you want to target 15 pounds. Well, that's not here, and it's not here. It's here. So if you have this linear line, okay, and let's say it's we're, we're targeting 18 pounds, that puts us here. So you're actually having to do triple the work because, or um, uh, well, triple the work, sure, um, because this needs to be higher than this, okay? If you do it on a strictly um, level-based thing where you jump one at a time, whenever you start working backwards and checking yourself, you find that a lot of these points are going to be off um, because, you know, whenever you start targeting whatever value you want, it's actually in between these things. So this is too high. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This would be too, uh, too low, and this would be too high if you're targeting this value. So to save yourself some time, just, you know, do, do something similar to this and get yourself a nice, even, linear sloping line from left to right going upwards, okay? And then what we're going to do is, let's say we'll target 16 pounds, so we're targeting this, okay? We're starting at 50, we're subtracting whatever this would be, uh, what was it, 30, so we're at 20 or something like that, whatever value I put in here. Um, and let's assume we're going to do boost by gear, okay? A lot of people like boost by gear. Um, let's set this whole thing um, at, uh, heck, uh, if, if we're targeting, what was it, 16? We're targeting 16. So we can set this whole graph to 16, okay? Now, make sure that these other graphs, these other targets are zeroed because what ends up happening, these start um, compounding each other. So if you have... You're targeting 16 in this graph, and then you're also targeting, say, 5 on this graph. You're actually targeting 21, because these graphs add in on top of each other. And the reason they do that is because when you start making a whole lot of boost and a whole lot of power, what a lot of people will do is they will start adding additional boost for higher vehicle speeds because um, they're not having to worry about uh, spinning the tires so much. So you can start adding boost up here on top of whatever target method you choose, whether it be TPS or RPM or whatever. Boost by gear is just a very common way to do it. You can start adding this VSS in here on top of this graph, and it's almost like a very, um, uh, a very raw form, uh, a very primitive form of uh, traction control, if you want to think about it that way. But for now, we'll keep things stupid. You can play with all that later. That's kind of advanced boost control. Um, so what you can do is go in here to this boost target gear and set... Um, one thing I should mention before I forget. You guys are doing this boost target gear table. Make sure you've done the 
configure gear ratio wizard before you do this. If you have not done this, and it's not actually targeting these gear ratios, and you're targeting, say, you know, in first gear, 10 pounds, and then fifth or 16 in second pounds, 19 in third gear, fourth gear, your target might actually be off. So make sure you follow this. This is pretty simple. Go through this and make sure you calculate all your gears correctly. Um, so uh, if, uh, if if we're targeting 16 pounds, what we're going to do is come back in here, do a log, okay, make sure that all your errors are turned off and all that kind of stuff, and um, if you're not reaching the boost that you want to, if, if, if it's not enough, then just simply come in here, if you're targeting, say, 16 pounds, raise this value a little bit, you know, by another 5% duty cycle or something like that, and then do another pull. If you've reached your target, then you know this section is right, okay? And then just go up, then, tar then you target 18 pounds. If it's too low, raise it up a little bit. If it's too high, bring it down a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to end up making this nice line where it plots it out, and then you can go back in here later and target whatever boost you want, and it's going to be pretty close to right on the money. I'm running out of time here. I'm going to get into uh, the boost error duties um, and how to start uh, compounding these things on top of each other in the next video. Stay tuned.